ABC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hope you had a wonderful Saturday. If you were out there this evening and noticed it was a little bit more on the hazy side, that was because we have a lot of Sahara dust right now in the atmosphere and with clear skies, you were able really to notice it. It got that orangish tint as the sun was going down across the horizon and that was all thanks to that dust and we're going to continue to see some of that dust for our Sunday. So it's going to create that haziness as we go throughout the day. But by I think Monday night into Tuesday, that's when we'll start to see changes arriving in the form of some rain showers. So it could be a wet Tuesday and maybe even some interruptions for your 4th of July plans on Wednesday. But taking a look across the country, we can see we're already starting to see what will eventually be the showers that head our way developing back along the bend of Florida. You can see all that shower activity moving in and now making its way towards the panhandle. It is dying out now as we push into the evening, but it's all associated with this area that will eventually bring us the rain in a couple days. Also have some big storms back through the Great Plains through Nebraska and down into Kansas, pushing up into Iowa this evening and heading up into Wisconsin. Also have some severe weather back over the panhandle of Texas, but all that's riding up to the north. We're not going to see any of that. We're going to continue to stay dry thanks to an upper level high right over top of us. So tomorrow is going to look very similar to what we had out there today. Now we did have a few isolated showers develop back through St. Mary Parish, also in Vermilion and over into Iberia Parish. Parish. We also had a heavy downpour towards St. Martin Parish as well this afternoon, but all that activity has come to an end. We do have some storms over towards Mississippi heading down towards the New Orleans area this evening, but that is heading straight to the south and not going to cause any effects for us here in Acadiana. Right now it's 83 degrees, but with the humidity feeling like 90 degrees at the airport in Lafayette, winds have been pleasant this evening out of the southwest around 7, so that did help make it feel not as sticky, but still one of those typical summer muggy nights and that's what it's going to be for the rest of this evening. Maybe some clouds to get our Sunday started, but I still think a good bit of sunshine throughout the day. Then as we head into the afternoon, you can see not a whole lot showing up on the model. So I think maybe just one or two isolated showers again south of the interstate. Better chance to see them maybe down towards Morgan City and that you might actually see another decent shower through the afternoon, but I do think most of us stay dry for our Sunday going into Monday. That's when we start to see that low get a little closer to us could produce some showers over towards New Orleans Monday afternoon, but you can see we should stay dry for our Monday, still keeping us very summer like temperatures in the 90s, but you see it by Monday evening, maybe some of that activity getting a little closer to us, so we could see maybe a 30% chance for some isolated showers during the evening. Better chance though is that low gets closer to us. You can see widespread heavy rains throughout Tuesday afternoon continuing throughout much of the evening on Tuesday before that thing moves over into Texas come Wednesday. Still could have some wraparound scattered showers Wednesday afternoon, so we will keep about a 50% chance for your 4th of July here in Acadiana, so just keep that in mind. But I do think things clear out in time for the firework displays or any events going on in the evening, so that is the good news is I think we should be okay with any events like that. But as that low continues to move off to the west, we will have the chance for even more scattered showers into our Thursday, so it is going to be one of those times where it could be a wet pattern throughout the week ahead, and that's going to lead to some much needed rainfall, and it looks like maybe an inch to two inches on Tuesday and then another inch possible on Wednesday. So some areas could be seen in the coming days anywhere from two to three inches. You do see some of these yellow shades showing up that would put you over five inches, so possibly some heavy rains heading our way, but I do not really expect a whole lot of concerns with this, but you might have after some of those heavier downpours some ponding on the roadway. So just kind of keep that in mind, but I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue with this. Just bring us some much needed rain as we are about a whole foot behind where we should be for this time of year. But for the rest of your Saturday, just very typical summer like warm and sticky, mainly clear 77 for the overnight low and then for your Sunday hazy, hot and humid again with that Sahara dust in the air 94 for the high feeling like the triple digits and as mentioned, just a very low chance for a straight shower or storm during the afternoon. Even in the Monday, not looking too wet, but there you see 70% chance for the rain on Tuesday, still a 50% Wednesday in the Thursday. With the clouds and rains, temperatures do fall into the 80s Tuesday along with Wednesday and Thursday, so it might not be that bad for those barbecues on Wednesday out for your 4th of July. And then even towards the end of the weekend, next weekend, temperatures stay a little bit below where we should be for this time of year in the upper 80s to lower 90s with about a slight rain chance during the afternoon, but it does look like some rain will be heading our way in the coming days. Very good, Eric.